Hi, this is going to be part three of our beginner's watercolor lesson video set that I've been doing. Um, I ended part two by showing you how to draw five different subjects. And these subjects were these subjects that I'm about to show you. A boat. A background, which this is not specific to what exactly we're about to do today in this video, but it is similar. It's just a, you know, an outline. We have people. We have our mid-ground, or mid-ground, yeah, mid-ground. Our cars, and we have our, our sky, the shade. And then we have our final image, which I know might be hard to see, but there's a lot of little detail in here. We have the people walking on a pier with a boat and the background buildings here with a lot of little stuff going on in between. There's more people, there's some, you know, cars, there's some windows, some trees, some more cars, and some... Uh, lights and such and if you want to try and pause the video and sketch some of that out you can and I'll go into it more detail but um we're gonna get into the the sky wash right away so if you'd like to follow me with doing that I would like for you to get out a A palette, obviously. And on my palette I have reds, I have blues, I have yellows, I have uh, yellow ochre, burnt umber, I have blacks, I have greens, I have browns, I have whites, even. And what we're going to start out with for our sky is going to be a light wash of... I picked a light wash of... Um, of just some basic, I guess, yellow ochre here. Yeah, just some, just some basic yellow ochre. We'll use that as a sky wash here. Most people like to wet the page before they do this, but I figured um, I figured I don't really need to do that if I make the page wet with um, the color I'm using. If I make the brush wet, I don't really need to make the whole page wet. If that makes any sense. I'm just going to set the camera down. I'm sorry about the last video and how uh, shaky it was and such, but I'm cheap and I don't have a tripod, so you got to do what you got to do. And uh, I'll just do more, more of the sky color here. We bring that down into... Maybe even this walkway area and the water here. You can see that into where the water is. The walkway and everything here. So this is a light wash of burnt umber. And another thing for uh, beginners that I like to speak on is you notice these little dots on the paper there, there, and such. Those are from, if like me, and you might be like me, you might have a crappy brush. And that's okay. The brush that I'm using is uh, old. Look at those bristles. Bristles are friggin' gnarly. And pieces of the brush will come off and you'll want to get them out of the way fairly quickly before the paint dries. 
because once the paint dries there's really nothing you can do they'll just basically be there and there'll be dots on your paper and you will most likely notice them if you have an eye for that kind of you know detail or whatever so see it's it's not a it's not a big wash it's very light very light what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bit of a bit of blue black to that wash. Just a just a like a teensy bit. More blue actually than anything. I don't want it to be a grey. A nice blue sky looks better than a grey sky, I always say. There's our blue. Blue is sinking in there. There we go. I know because it is burnt umber, it's a kind of yellowy color, so if you use too much blue, you could get a green, and that's, that's not the preferred color you'd probably want. I'll throw it in down in the water here. And again, get the little black pieces that are here. I have it down in the water here, these little pieces. There we go. And as you can see, the sky is a bit of a different shade now. We're going to get those pieces out of there. Oh, they're little buggers, aren't they? Well, if you can see how... Um, dark some of these pencil lines are you might want to bring those out before you let the water touch them because a thing that really is annoying is as soon as water <sighs> see I should have thought of this before I started erasing it now because those little eraser pieces are going to go everywhere and get stuck in your water and that's not good we don't want that so I think the first thing I'll start with is the people see them there. There they are. There's our people. They're probably, you know, mother, father, son. The son's uh, pointing maybe to the boat that we're going to be making over there. You never know. Could have saw a fish. Or a shark. Now we'll get into just a, a normal medium kind of brush. Make sure it's kind of extra wet. We're going to get into the skin tone of these people. If you want to, you can add a bit of yellow to it's just, the skin tone, by the way, is just red. You just keep washing out the red and it gets a nice light red color. If you want true kind of peachy skin, you can add some yellow to that. It's kind of an orangey color, but at the same time it really works nice. You don't want too much of it either. And you just place it where you think it would go. Maybe there for the man's neck. There for the boy's arm. For his neck and maybe his face a little bit there. And he's wearing shorts so we'll give him that. The mother's wearing shorts and her arms can be like so, like that. Right now that looks a little weird. <laughs> but once I start adding in the shirt detail, which I'm pretty sure was like a, a light orange. So I'll just make an orange here. Or maybe more of a red so it doesn't look like skin tone. And we'll go in and we'll add in his shirt.
It does look a bit fat from that angle, but this is the true angle that it's at. Is this? My camera doesn't like to focus. That's a... There we go. And we know that he had some. Well, actually, I was gonna give him black pants. Why don't I give him blue pants? Nice blue pair of jeans. Every man likes that. It's actually a more interesting shade too than just pure black. And the the mother can have a. Actually, before I go into the mother, I can give the father a a shade to him. Not too much. That's almost too much. Don't want that much. Just a little bit. So you know that he's darker on one side. And then the woman can get a a blue dress. Remember, really washy. Now we, I do see a lot of these uh, types of paintings, these types of people with uh, people like Herman Peckel and those types of artists, they do these really fast, we're going to go into the hair now, but they do these really fast bodies for people. And it, it does actually look rather nice. If it's done correctly. And the sun can have some hair too. There we go. Son can be wearing. I think I gave him a green shirt, so I can give him a green shirt again. Bit of a darker, yeah, that's a dark green. There we go. And his pants can be black. Don't need much detail with the very short. Don't need much detail there. There we go. And actually, I'm going to make a shadow. And it's going to be purple, or like a darker blue, blue kind of color. I would say purple, but you might say a different shade of color. That's okay. I'm just going to add that in right here. Right there is a kind of a shadow to look off of, to look from. We can drag that shadow up the wall. We'll be putting a wall there. Be walking in the shadow of that wall. <clears throat> and next, maybe I'll move on to the boat right here. The boat will 
the um, just a shade of phthalo blue. I'm using a medium brush here. And once I'm done the boat, I'm going to go into uh, the part four section. So there will be a part four after part three. And here we go, we're going to get into the boat using some phthalo blue and a little bit of black. I want to make a bit of a bit of a shadow on the side of the boat here. There we go. And if you do a shadow and you think it's too dark, you can raise it up with, um, if you have a Kleenex of some sort or anything like that, you can just take that in, raise up the color a bit so it's not so dark. No, I would actually rather do that here too, just like so, so it's not so dark. And then we can go in with a darker shade of almost a gray blue. We can make, I guess, what we would call the cabin of this boat. Like so, and we can we can give it a shadow here. There we go, that looks alright. Give it a bit of a shadow. Um, we can start doing the water, actually, which will be more of a phthalo blue. Um, phthalo blue with just just a hint of black to it, so it's more of a, this kind of tone of color here. You can see that there. Just a mixture. A bit of black and a bit of blue. And we'll go in here and we'll, we'll start doing the water. As you know, when you're doing the water, you should be keeping straight lines. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit more black on it. Because you don't want to have it be the exact same color as the boat. But you don't want it at the same time to be uh, too dark. And we'll just make it like so. Like so. We're going to leave a spot at the back for the the back of the boat here. You can see that. And then we can put more water behind that. Over here. So if you can tell it's a bit of like a reflection of the white on the back of the boat there. That's creeping into the to where the water and the waves would be. A bit more here to bring it over like so, and then I will grab some red, teensy bit of red, and I will make the hull area red. Like a, like a body line almost on the boat, and I'll do it on the back here too. Right there, very thin, and we can creep it into the water if you want. Like, like so. 
just so we know it's there, we can creep a bit into the to the white here too. Like that. There we go. That's starting to come together. And then we will use a bit more of just normal stable blue. And that will make the back end of the cabin. So it looks like you're kind of peering through the back of it here. Maybe add some more detail to your water here. And then uh, right after this, we're going to be going into part four. And we will be looking at... We will be looking at the cityscape and the cars and everything that goes along with that. You know, I don't want to make that too bright because then that'll look too off balance. Water won't look right. There we have that so far. And if you go down on to part four, I will be waiting there for you to do the cityscape and the cars and every such thing. So uh, I hope you like what you see so far and uh, go on down to part four. Thank you.